Hey guys, so finally I got my wall charger today. This is the Tesla wall connector, which gives you much, much faster charging as compared to the standard uh, that comes uh, with the with the car. So let me show you guys the standard one that comes with the car. It's uh, this little guy. You know, you can either connect it to a 110 outlet or you can connect it to a 220. So if you connect the smaller one to a 220, it does give you a little bit faster charging, but of course this is the beast. So this will give you at least, I think it's uh, seven miles more than the standard charger that comes uh, with it. And now when I say seven miles, it's seven miles per hour uh, more charging capacity for with this one. Um, so if you're using that one with a 110 outlet, it's gonna be slow as hell. Don't even, don't even bother with the 110. So yes, you can use the other one, but uh, this is, I think it's a great upgrade for 500 bucks, you know, so I just picked it up. Uh, let's go ahead and undo it and I'm gonna be getting into the installation. So let's see what comes with it. So here's a nice glass face, or plastic I should say, I think it looks pretty slick. Uh, this is Wi-Fi compatible, so it does connect to your Wi-Fi. And it's, uh, it's supposed to be a smart charger on the back side. Now the one I ordered, they come in two different cords sizes. So I got the biggest cord, I think it's 18 foot, if I'm not mistaken. This is a mounting pattern that you can use for the wall. And uh, just some quick start things that you need to install and some guidelines. So, cables are quite heavy. And uh, on the back side, there is a there's this thing which connects, oops. So this is what you're gonna be mounting onto the wall itself. And this connector just snaps on and then you put the screws, you know, to hold it in place. Okay, so let's see what comes uh, for the hardware part. So it does come with two screws. These are the two screws that will go in the wall. These we'll use later. Uh, it does come with a template so you know it shows three holes but you know, of course you don't have to install three screws on there you know you just have to use one or two so in my case i'm going to be using the top configuration so i'm just going to have one top uh, wire coming in from there you can use this for top you can use it for bottom or if you have a hole in the wall you know if it's coming from this side or this side you know so there are multiple ways you can do the installation so this is the installation book that shows, you know, what comes with it and, uh, you know, what are the things that are required. So 18 fit is my size of wire, the length that I got. And uh, so a couple of things that I picked up from uh, Lowe's, you know, you can get it from Lowe's or Home Depot. Um, this is a 3 4 inch nylon liquid tie fitting type, you know, so these are good. So you can see on top, I already put one in. This is uh, removable. So what I did was uh, this cap is just removable. You know, it just pops out. And uh, since I'm using the top configuration, the wire coming in from top to 20. So I use this one and uh, the wire will come in, loop through and go at the bottom. Then you need another one um, for your box, you know, for the breaker box forever. The main wire is going so i just have this um picked up some flex conduit you know these go for like a dollar a foot so you know this is the same size this is three fourth in size and uh there's the size you can see and this fits right in on top you know it uh if you loosen this guy up that just slips right in and uh you can tie it this you can just tie it and it will hold the flex pipe. And then you can run your wire in there. So 
for this configuration i'm using number six wire because that will give you the best uh, in the highest uh, 48 amp rating on this you know this is the highest you can go so number six wire is good so this is the wire that i have is a number six three conductor you know in our case we're just going to be using two conductor and uh, of course the ground wire you know so this is uh something you can pick it up from home depot or lowe's you know they sell it by foot as well now you don't have to use it the one with the jacket like i am you know they sell individual wires as well that you can also use since you're using a conduit copper you know i think you should be good to go so the first thing you need to do is find out where you're going to install it of course you know you don't want to be tucked in all the way at the corner because you're going to be wrapping around the wire the excess wire that you have so i decided to put it somewhere around here so i have plenty of room to roll my cable and uh, i think that's enough you know and the flex conduit will be going right from the top inside now inside the panel what i have is uh you can see those tap-ons i'm going to go ahead and remove one of those and then uh, drill through so we'll come out from this side and uh, I may have to drill through from this side into the panel now you may want to turn the breaker off you know yes you can do it live but I don't recommend especially when you're drilling into uh, you know just in case if you run into any hot conductors you know so either turn the breakers off for this one or just to turn the main breaker off just to be on the safe side because uh, you definitely don't want to run into anything and uh, once you have that, uh, what you need to do is uh, we're going to take that plastic piece and mount it in here, right here, just like similar to something like this. And uh, then we can run our flex conduit, mount, mount the piece right here, and then uh, finish the job. So, and I think uh, I'm planning on mounting it here somewhere, so I have enough room to coil up. right here will be a good place it's not too much tucked in the corner that's enough okay. so i got myself a leveler and i just want to make sure when i mark the center hole it's nice and level so right now it's nice and level straight so put two you want to do the same procedure if you plan to use either one of them or if you just plan to use the center one. So the center one is for the wire coming from top or bottom. These two are if you have the wire coming from this side, from the inside the wall. So if you have a hole in the wall and the wire is coming this way, and same thing from here, if the wire is coming from this way and you have a hole right here. What you need to do is uh, drill holes. So the marking is already there. Uh, all you have to do is just uh, drill a hole. And uh, now we're ready to install this. Now you have to figure out how much flex con conduit you're gonna be using. So, so I'm gonna go right here. So what you need to do is remove this part and uh, this stays in and this goes in like this. So what you need to do is uh, take this and put this in just like that and we can just tie this and i'm going to do this uh, later on because i'm trying to figure out how much flex i'm going to be using so i'm thinking maybe Okay, so what I did was I took this and I uh, drilled a hole through, just like right here. And uh, you just have to align it with the hole that you already have inside. So, you know, I had a hole inside the box and that just aligns. And for the inside, you know, you just have to open the hole with the prying tool and uh, the cover, something like this, you know, will come out from your box. So now I'm ready to feed this uh, pipe in right through here. 
Okay, so what I did was uh, connected uh, this pipe, inserted it all the way in there. Sorry, my camera died so I couldn't show you guys, but uh, all I did was just push that in and uh, put this over here. And the wire, just like, you know, cut it to the right size. So I cut the wire and uh, this is how I'm gonna do it. So it's coming in right from here. You know, so you have the L1, the L2, doesn't matter what color goes in where. And this is the ground wire, so this is the bare naked. So I don't have a neutral, you know. In fact, uh, I should have done the white and the red. So I may just do that. Doesn't really matter, color coding doesn't matter. Just make sure whatever you're connecting over there is the one that you're connecting over here. Normally the white is neutral, you know. So in my case, I'm just probably gonna use the red and black, or I'm using black and white here, doesn't matter. And I uh, just wired up, and then once we are done from that side, then it's just a matter of connecting the breaker, and then we should be done. Okay, so what you need to do is uh, just route your wires right here. And uh, this one wasn't long enough, so I couldn't really bring it all the way from here, so I just did it from the top. It's just a ground wire, so it doesn't really matter. Just make sure it is away from your hot leg, you know, so you can just tuck it at the corner. And uh, this is just a spare, so I just taped it and uh, put it on this side. You no, know, I don't want to cut it off, you know, just so uh, you have a spare one. Uh, this pin came with the kit, so all you need to do is, uh, this is the same one that, I, that we tighten these screws with. So you can use the same one to tighten these, you know, just make sure you don't use any power tool. You want to do it by hand. So just make sure, make it nice and snug and just pull on the wire to make sure it is... Uh, holding pretty good you know um do not use a power drill in, into these because i can definitely damage it so all my connection is tight over here so what we need to do is uh just uh, strip this part and uh, add a breaker the one that we got and uh i think that then we should be able to close this part up uh, now there are screws on top right here and the bottom that uh came with the kit you know so you can use these screws there are four screws i think one is in, in the box oh there's one so there's four screws that you can uh, use uh, to hold this in place and uh that should cover it up so let me go ahead and uh, grab this so maybe i can just mount this first So another thing you need to do is uh, you need to configure what setting you want this to be used at, you know. So I'm using 48 amps and there are settings um, that we need to set it up for to make sure uh, you're utilizing the right amps on this one. Okay, so to install this, all you have to do is uh, align this straight and just push it in. So make sure you push it nice so it's all the way flush against the wall so it's not loose Put some caulking around here and put some caulking around here and close it up later on. It's a matter of uh, rounding the wire to the breaker. Okay, so this is the breaker that matches my configuration. So now it's off. So everything else is on. This is off. We're going to power this on. Everything else should be on without tripping anything. And then we're going to go ahead and power this on. 
to make sure there's no issues with this one. If there are, the breaker will trip. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Okay. Now the rest of the circuit is on and now it's just a matter of us turning the one circuit that we did and that should turn the lights on to the charger so we angle the camera and go ahead and power it on now there you go power is coming on okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and try it let's take it out and uh there's my car and uh let's go ahead and try it it opened up and There you go, it's charging. Let's see how fast it is charging. So it's increasing the amps. And it should go all the way to 48 amps. It may take a while. Okay, so now it's at 48 amps and uh, charging good. So this is the completion of the wall charger in home, do it yourself. So guys, if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you.